Drought has once again become a hot topic throughout our state, but what can landowners do to maintain a healthy landscape? Preventative management is essential. A lot of that is thinning, um, making more space for these trees to grow, giving them more access to resources, specifically water. You know, we had that drought period from 2012 to 2015. Um, we had one really good year of rain, but that's not enough. Trees need a lot more moisture. They need it over the long term, not just um, dumps of rain. It takes time for trees to soak up water. And an increased chance of drought stressed trees also means an increased chance of secondary attack by bark beetles or flat-headed fur borers this summer. Bark beetles are always present. They're always a part of our landscape. They're part of a healthy ecosystem. But what happens is their numbers can increase to numbers that aren't sustainable. And so they can actually go from just attacking the stressed trees to building up their populations enough to spill over into the healthy trees that would have otherwise made it. Uh, once we start seeing the bark falling off the trees and all the needles are red, trees typically won't come back from that. But what we can do is hopefully prevent those bark beetles from affecting other healthy trees that are nearby. Leaving the best tree for the site, uh, whether that's pine or oak or dug fir, is probably the best thing we can do. Another tip is to avoid planting less drought tolerant trees such as dug fir in areas historically dominated by more drought tolerant trees such as pine and oak. For more information on drought impacts in your area, visit the Oregon Department of Forestry's website or call your local district office. Thank you.